meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 12th day of March 2024 at 5 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask Larry Morphew if, if he will lead us in uh, our prayer and pledge the flag. Lord, we just come before you tonight giving you praise for your many blessings. Lord, we just, we always know that when we're in trouble, you're always there. And we just ask you to be with us tonight, Lord. And God, that we'd make the right decisions and would be pleasing to you. Just lead God and give us strength, courage, and be with us in all of our endeavors. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you have the uh, February 27th uh, minutes, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions in the meeting? In the minute. Discussion, corrections, or additions. Being none, all in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Before you, you have the, uh... okay, I'm sorry, we have an amendment to the December 19th, 2023 uh, minutes. We need a approval, a motion. Remind me real quick what that. Okay, so it's going to be to, um, there was a motion that was left out uh, waiting, I think I was either waiting or we got the same day, The um, I believe it was the same day the VIN number for a vehicle for the okay. sheriff to serve yeah, us. Okay. So it was it was a clerical error. The okay. motion was made. I had it written down. It did not make it into the minutes. So I just would like to amend it in there. If you want me to read that, I got it written right. here. It's a surplus of shit. Approved the police to didn't authorize didn't. the fiscal court, fiscal court clerk Miranda Funk to amend the December 19th, 2023 fiscal court minutes to reflect the motion, which was mistakenly omitted into the minutes. Motion reads as follows. Approve the to surplus the sheriff's department vehicle Ford F-250 with 120,000 miles on it. And then it gives a VIN number. To be sold on Gov deals, passed with motion by Jason Bullock and seconded by Kenneth Calloway. I'll make the motion to accept the amendment for the December 19th court meeting minutes. I'll second. I'll second. Thank you, Michael. Any discussion? Being none, I'm afraid to aye. Aye. Those like sign, motion carries. Uh, you have the, before you have the bills, claim payments and transfers. And the latest. And the latest. Do I have a motion? I like the motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Do I hear a second? Second. Second. I got, I'll get both. He, he ain't got second anything yet tonight. I got him. <laughs> Y'all at the same time. Uh, any, uh, any discussion? Discussion on the bills, claims, payments, and transfer? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, yeah. Opposed, like sign. We get to pay our bills. Before you, you have the treasurer's February 2024 financial report. We just need to acknowledge that we got it. Make a motion we receive. Motion by Bo Ben. I'll second his acknowledgement. Second by Jason Bo. Got it. Got it. Your face tonight. Uh, any any uh, discussion or questions for the treasurer? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Okay. Uh, Resolution 2024 dash. No, clerks. Sorry. Clerks February. Okay. I'll make the most. I mean, I'll acknowledge that we received the clerk's uh, financial report, February oh. report. Okay. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Any questions, corrections, or, uh, any uh, discussion on it? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. You have a resolution 2024 11. 
on SPGE and that's just changing the order. No. Yeah. It's where we have to, by resolution, assign the TBA mm -hmm. money to the IBA, oh, which is yeah. an SPGE. So it's the IDA, IDA board need to meet pretty soon? It's the, uh, we've already made the motion, it's the 80,000. Is that Reason? all it was this time though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought it increased a little bit each. Well, it does. The only thing, we just, the resolution just assigns the money. Yeah. And the whole pot of money. So you all have already approved to pay the $80,000 annual, yeah. annual payment. Every year you have to redo that resolution to assign okay. it to the IDA. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to accept it. Motion with Jason. Second. Second by both in. Any discussion? Being on favor, say aye. All right. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Uh, the next one is resolution 2024-12, House Bill One. It's to to add two uh, items to the. Uh, to it. Uh, I think I've discussed it with most of you, but do I have a, a motion for that? Make a motion. Motion by Michael. Sorry. Second by Bo. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You understood that one, didn't you, Bob? That's for the paper green smoke. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, we're ready for committee reports. Uh, Would you able to make any contact with uh, uh, with the internet company, Michael? Oh, okay. Uh, well, we'll continue. I reach, to try. I reach back out to Spectrum, but uh, Spectrum's working is blessed information that Dustin and I've got that I'm aware of and I'll open it up for Dustin to Yeah, you got anything? Uh, I spoke with uh, Miss Sandusky. Her name is first name is leaving me. Uh, and uh, Tara Ward uh, spoke with Butch Massey who's the project manager for Warner Roll Electric's you know, all the work that they're doing for internet. And the, the biggest issue is, and we all knew, was poll permits. But Mr. Massey indicated that to go along with the 1,200 or 1,300 poll permits, they are having to replace 2,300 polls. And 2,300 polls, and I think he said 11 crews are doing it. And 2,300 poles is probably more than they had down during the ice storm. And so we're not real sure at what the pace is that they're moving. Uh, but uh, that all that has been been forwarded from Ms. Sandusky to Dalton Workman, who is kind of the person that we've all been talking to. So... I think we're gonna. I think we've kind of gotten them in touch uh, because the, we have passed uh, Miss Sandusky's contact information to Mr. Massey. So we're hoping we're gonna know a little bit more. Uh, but I'm not really holding my breath at this point, and I don't know how quickly they're replacing poles. I mean, I know it's not, you know, too terribly difficult or a long job to do it. But at best, you can carry, I think, two poles with you before you got to drive back and get some more. So, I, I mean, we just don't, 
if, if it's dependent on the poles, then who knows how long it's going to take. But What's the uh, reasoning for the poles? Is it just, are they bad? Or that just, I don't know. I, that, it, that's it's the, not like it's a really a lot of additional weight. I mean, that's the thing that I don't know. And they have indicated to us that all the fiber that Warner Electric has running through here, they have no intention. It's just a redundancy to them. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're, you know, logic is not, is not flowing <laughs> through this whole thing uh, because you, it would seem to me like you would want to do something with that network, even if you want to just give a little piece of it mm -hmm. out. But who knows? Uh, I do know that, uh, and this is, the only reason I know this is because I had T-Mobile for my cell service. They're actually expanding, opening up another part of their spectrum that is going, that is almost specifically for rural residents. So there might be some areas around here that didn't have hardly any, you know, uh, 5G service that might potentially have some with T-Mobile. Now T-Mobile is not great unless you're real close to a tower like I am. Where, I, where I'm at, you know, the, the tower that's out by Minute Mark, T-Mobile at night can be almost a gig, like 800 down. Uh, but it's a little different in some areas. So that might be more for people uh, to, to try because you can get two weeks and try their 5G home internet if it works for you. And if it doesn't, you can just take it back to to Orangeboro, wherever you get it. But that's, that's, that's wireless. Not yeah, that's wireless. That's right. not fiber. That's just, you know, for me, it's all, I, it's all I'll ever need. It, the it's, fiber is what everybody's but Yeah, fiber, fiber is what everybody's working on because that's guaranteed. Yeah. And you know, the, yeah. the last discussion you and I had, I think, by text, was in regards to those poll permits. The per yeah. Yeah, poll, we were told up until just, well, this last conversation you had, poll permits is what we were waiting on as far as spectrums. Mm -hmm position at that time okay. and, uh, and now what Dustin has alluded to is that it's not just the public. It's not there. The I permit. think there's more to it. More than to it thought. There's more than just the permit. Right. Well, one the frustration that I have and I'm sure y'all do too is that we don't have a uh, uh, spectrum's not giving us any answers and our public want to know approximately yeah and, we don't get it in and, that that's, area. and that's the thing the, the issue with it is is the re they probably can't because if unless Warren Royal Electric can say hey we're replacing this many a day and barring you know if we have storms come through obviously they're not they're going to start replacing other poles if they got to or do whatever but it's you know there was I, I saw a thing on online where there, the storms that moved through last March, they had 55 crews like in Edmonton County to replace like 365 poles and it took them two weeks. And you're thinking five times as many crew and you know, a, a, a fraction of the poles and it took them two weeks. So yeah, I and a lot more scattered. Yeah, yeah a lot I, more. You know, I, so I understand. Uh, that's that. That's the thing. It's if Warner Electric can can. Because at the end of the day, you know, by I think the terms of the federal grant, it's got to be done in six years. Now that's six years is an awful long time, but that's what it has to be done, or else you're giving the money back. So nobody's going to get paid if they don't get it done right. in six years. So you know. well, thank you for the update on that. I have one personnel item; it's not on the agenda, but we had to hire a meal driver out to the senior center. Uh, I put up the name of Geraldine Stennett, level one, 1353 per hour, and it's part time. Bill Drive. Mark you? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Golock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Graphic committees. Uh, next, next thing. Uh, I'm going to, uh, this is sort of a committee, this is a budget committee thing. I'm handing all of you out the budget that I'm presenting to you that y'all know who prepared. <coughs> but anyway, I, I, I helped with it. I helped that name a little bit. <clears throat> uh, 
let him type it next time, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> uh, y'all know, you, you know how this works. Thank you. Here you go. But, thing is, we're not going to discuss it tonight. We want you to uh, read it over, and we want to schedule a budget workshop at 4 o'clock before the next meeting. And if need be, we'll have one one after that as well. And uh, But no later than the first meeting in April, we sure need that first reading done so that we can get ours to the DLG early before everybody else does because if we don't get it there early, it, no test when they'll get it gone over. Okay, uh, is there any other committee reports? They usually re approve it anyway. I mean, do they not? If there's anything they don't, it's very less. But we still need it back as soon as we get it. Sometimes there'll be a dot or a I I dotted or a T cross, but usually nothing. They did send one back a couple years ago, didn't they? Yeah, for some moderate, for, yeah. for some moderate changes. Yeah, but it's they, they have done that very often. But, uh, <coughs> Uh, is there any more committee report? We had the road committee. Uh, yes. We just met and we yes. discussed uh, the flex coming flex money. Um, they're going to type up the proposals and bring to the court the next court meeting for us to look at and approve. Uh, is that right, David? The next um, court meeting. Well, actually, I'm, we're going to get it out to y'all and make sure that you read what we agreed on in our yeah. work Okay. And then we'll fill out the application, send it to state. And whenever it gets back, then that's when we'll do we'll go ahead and vote. Okay, okay, so we discussed the flex road funds, and then we also discussed uh, for you guys that weren't in there the um, ordinance 20 uh, 2004 4. It's been uh, 20 years ago. Uh, looking at taking the county road system, there's just one section on page four that we want to. Uh, we just feel like the roads we're taking in the county, the base is not. You know, the base is not good enough, so we're going to uh, change those. Uh, we're not going to act on that tonight, but I think um, uh, Woolen is going to, uh, Nick Woolen is going to uh, bring the changes at the next meeting for us to look at and approve to uh, make sure the bases on our roads are better in the county before we take them in. Just a couple little changes, so, but they'll bring that to the next meeting. We also, um, for the Administrative Code and Wage Scale Committee, Last meeting, I passed you out, I think, uh, eight of the proposals to look at. You got an email, too. We did take one off, so there's only seven. Everything's the same, and none of these will go into effect until July 1 with the new budget. But uh, we took off the animal control officer. We didn't make them a... What, we, just remove the part-time. Just remove the part-time from it, so that is not on here anymore. But we did leave the other seven. Does anybody have any questions on those? Because I'm going to make a motion that we accept these seven changes for the Administrative Code Waste Go Committee. I'll second the motion. Okay. I'll go ahead and make the motion. So we have second. to do that tonight. Yeah. We're going to have a little time to go over a little more. We well, I, I gave you a copy of the last court meeting to look over. Uh, I mean, it, in all honesty, we don't have to go in. The reason we would like to go ahead and look at passing this right now is because a lot of these that we're looking at affect the budget that she just handed us tonight. I think they're, you know, if we don't pass these or don't, then we'll have to adjust the budget some. But we went ahead and adjusted the budget for these changes for because the committee had made it on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, one, the first one is just the Roadmaster, Road Scholar um, incentive program we gave to the road department. We'll give them a little increase if they get the Roadmaster. Yeah. And, and we get a, a, a created a position called the uh, Assistant uh, Senior Director. Right. Is it necessary that we do it tonight since these are going to affect July 1? No. Would it be nice if they could? For the budget, it would so we could go ahead and start the budget process. The longevity program, that's no no longer. It's changed. We're going to do it in the increase. Give increases to it. 
instead of giving the five hundred dollars every five year each time, they're going to give them every year. They're going to give them a quarter rates each time, which it's a little bit more money over the long, you know, of the time. I think it runs out to be five hundred thirty, forty dollars, or something like that. So they get a little bit more money, but instead of just giving them the one check every five years, it just adds to their salary over every year during that time. Now it doesn't, like you see a quarter and then it goes to 50 cents at 10 years, that doesn't build on each other. It's just a quarter every five years. Right. So it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't like, well, you're going to get 75 cents now. No, it's just 50. Yeah. So it doesn't build on that quarter each year. Time. Any other discussion? We've got a motion to second. Ben. Matthew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Thank you. That will help the budget process. And anytime throughout the budget, you know that, guys, I know some of you, you can make changes to these throughout the budget if we have to. We it's not set in stone. You can always bring stuff back. Yeah, we make them in. Uh, we've amended about every year since I've been here. Yeah. Uh, we've amended about every month every year. Yeah, you can amend the budget. Okay. Um, is there any other committee? Then uh, let's go to District 1. Matched. Uh, no comments or uh, any business from 1st District. District 2. No, thank you. District 3. Uh, no, but. Uh, I'd like to thank Mike, Mayor Mac Henry for showing up tonight. So that's my yeah, yeah uh, I wrote supervisor going to call you. Did he yet? I he didn't, Judge. He oh, will. Okay, fantastic. I'm pretty sure he he uh, left us while ago. I'm pretty sure he went to the fire down to the wildlife. I've seen there. some first responders headed somewhere. Pretty sure they're going to help you. I told him to work out the details with you. Okay, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. Um, No, no, that's it. Uh, Judge, while, while, we're, uh, while we're here, I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Mike Taylor. I'm the mayor down in McHenry. Uh, this one, it's uh, due west of uh, Beaverdam, if anybody don't know. <laughs> uh, we got a couple things that's uh, upcoming. We have uh, an Easter activity. It's, uh, it's on March 23rd. So bring the kids, grandkids. Should be at the park? At the park. Should be a, an awesome time. Great. Uh, and I like to thank Bo. Uh, he's been in contact with me. We've been talking about things, uh, uh, getting the ditches dug out. Apparently that's going to be something coming up this month. It's definitely something that we've needed for sure. Absolutely. Uh, we've got flooding problems and things of that nature. Uh, of course, you guys know about the Summer Fest. It's June 29th of this year. June 29th? June 29th. It's always a, it draws a big crowd and uh, a lot of people think that the city puts that on. It's actually the lodge. We just support in every way we can because uh, all proceeds that are made there go to buy backpacks for the children of Western Elementary and Southern Elementary. So it's a fantastic thing. Yeah. If you can, uh, they, they usually raffle some guns. Uh, uh, they, they have, uh, you know, food vendors and, and things of that nature. Uh, but yeah, I just I just wanted to uh, you know put a put a face with a name, introduce myself, and if there's any way thing I can do for any of you guys, just let me know. Yeah, well, yeah, you I got an old Ford car. What you think? Oh well, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm on the list before you. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. What time is your event? The 23rd. The 23rd. Uh, I think it's all day thing, Mike. Okay. We'll start in the morning. I think at eight o'clock. Okay. Sounds good. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Yes, sir. Uh, Larry. I have nothing, Judge. Justin. No, thank you, Judge. Okay. Uh, we have some guests. Uh, the house is from Rosine. Do you want to address the court? Uh, like them, the Rosine Park will be having an Easter egg for the kids okay. on the same day. Same day. Okay. Of course, everything has to happen that way. Uh, but ours, we're going to have uh, lunch with the Easter Bunny from 11 to 12.45, and then the Easter egg hunt at 1. It's free, the, the food's not free, but the Easter egg hunt is for the kids, and we try, we're just trying to keep the little community park going yeah. to have, for the kids to have some place to go. 
well, and appreciate we appreciate it. all the support and help that we can get because we sure don't have a lot of volunteers. Right. If you need anything from the county, always let us know. We've always, uh, your, your magistrate and I have always supported that park. We have, we, we, yes, we appreciate that. And uh, he, he lives there now and, and I've lived there forever, so. So we. So we, it, it's, a, it's an import to us. Thank you. Thank you all. Joe, I would like to say what few that we have working in this park does a great job. They do. Y'all do do a great job. And uh, now I'll tell you when you do have workers, y'all have a good bunch in the concession stand that you bring and follow up. Y'all have good hands there and do a good job. Well, does anybody else have anything for the good of the body? If not, we'll be adjourned and we'll be back uh, here. In